Here we go. Are we live? I think we are live. Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. So I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. We are feeling so much, so much better. better. Oh, yes. my gosh. Almost so, human again. Yes, almost human again. Um, let's see. We have just been resting, which has been really good for us. We have been binge watching Yellowstone. I don't know about you guys. We've never watched Yellowstone before. It's actually good a pretty show. Yeah, pretty good yeah. show. So as you guys are coming on, please say hello. Let us know where you are watching from. We're coming to you guys live from beautiful, cool California. I see Karen jumping on and Myra and Janice. Thank you guys for jumping on. Make sure you say hello. Um, also, if you're catching the replay, please put missed you in the comments because we definitely missed you. I'd love to reach out and just connect see how things are going I know this is a busy time of year for everyone so most people will probably catch this free play and if you are brand new to our page welcome we are super excited that you found your way over here my name is Renee I'm Mark and we are team Terry doing something super simple for you guys tonight but you're gonna absolutely love this this you could use at, for Christmas dinner Oh, yeah. This is a really great side dish that you guys are absolutely going to love. Hello, Christine. Hello, Renee. Hello, Margaret. Hey, Janice. Hey, Kathy from Upscale, New York. And hey, Lucy, thank you for jumping on. I love the hearts, you guys. Do me a favor. If you can, share this out. Sharing is caring. It makes you beautiful, and it gets you into our monthly drawing. I would love to see somebody win a brand new mixer, mm -hmm. a mini dash mixer. Um, and that's what, what our drawing is going to be for this month. Not getting sound. Okay, Debbie, um, I hope everybody else can hear me. Can somebody else let me know if they can hear me? Maybe, Debbie, sometimes you have to tap on the screen and it opens, even though I'm describing and she can't hear me. But okay, <laughs> we'll try that. Thank you, Janice, for sharing. We really appreciate you. So I'm gonna go give it a quick, some quick shares out. Thank you, Diane, for sharing. And I'm gonna let Mark get us started. Okay, be sure you check us out on YouTube at Team Terry Keto. Uh, Team Terry is one word, the T is a capital. We have all of our recipes in there. We are over 280 recipes now to help keep you on your keto journey. We try to make things uh, very simple, very quick. Um, most of our recipes are 30 minutes or less. So um, it makes it a, a lot easier to keep you on, uh, on track. Um, if you're watching, uh, if you uh, want the uh, link to that, put YouTube in the comments and we'll get that to you. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube, come check us out on Facebook at Team Terry Keto. So this is a very uh, quick side dish. Um, I have taken, I've already steamed my broccoli. Uh, I've taken a, a 12 ounce bag of fresh broccoli. You can use frozen broccoli if you want. Just something that you can put in a, to a casserole dish um, so that you can bake this with all the cheeses and the heavy whipping cream and everything. So I've got, um, a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. I'm going to put that in here and start to heat it up. <clears throat> we're uh, we're going to do that over medium heat. I'm not going to use a high heat because you don't want to burn the heavy whipping cream or the cheeses once they're uh, put in there. So you want to do that a little bit slower, uh, but it's very uh, <clears throat> you want to you want to bring this to a slow boil. Um, I'm going to add to that once we get this going a little bit. Um, I've got four tablespoons of sour cream I'm gonna put in there. I've got uh, a teaspoon of uh, black pepper. I've got two tablespoons of uh, Italian seasoning. And I've got a tablespoon of um, spicy brown mustard. Okay guys, I know that was quick. You do not have to you memorize. Don't, yeah. <laughs> I, you don't have to that. I will put the um, recipe in the, one of the comments, one of the first comments, and you can also hop over to teamterryketo.com and find all of our recipes. Thank you guys for saying hello. Hello, Diana, Tammy Wallman, thank you for sharing, and thank you for saying hello from Lincoln, Nebraska. I saw a lot of you guys saying hello. Thank you so much. Also, I wanna thank you guys again for all of your amazing messages, checking on us, giving us little tips and tricks to feel better. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys have caught this, but this has just been a, a terrible cold and flu season. And it, it really just seems has. like it's, we can usually fight things, but I'm kind of grateful that we both came down with it at once. Same that way, time, yeah. Yeah, that way we could binge watch sure. <laughs> TV. We could commiserate is what, yes. what it was. No, it was actually kind of nice, like I said. 
I know that sounds weird, but sometimes that's the way life slows you down a little bit is it gets you to where you're sick and it just says you need to take a break and rest. So, yep. hey, Aura, hey, Sharon. Thank you so much for sharing with love. We appreciate you. It's going to be two degrees on Thursday. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. That's cold. Okay. Yeah, that's really cold. Please stay warm. I just do not even understand how people... That kind of cold. Yeah. I don't understand that kind of cold. I'm from California, and if it's 40 degrees outside, it's cold. So, yeah, that's definitely me. So, Mark is mixing this up. Like he said, we already did the broccoli, you guys. Um, but you can do either frozen broccoli. Mm -hmm. Or fresh. What, either one. Whatever is easiest for you. And I really think this is a good broccoli dish for your Thanksgiving dinner. Absolutely. Um, it, in place of maybe the green beans, because I love the green beans too, but we usually do those for Thanksgiving. So, it's kind of nice. I think this would go really well with prime rib for Christmas. Oh, absolutely. It would. This would be really good. And this is a, uh, this uh, cheesy sauce, um, you could use on a lot of things. You could put this on uh, cauliflower. You could put this on in green beans um, to make a green bean casserole if you wanted. And this is a very versatile, uh, very versatile type of sauce. Yes, definitely. So you guys, we have tons of recipes in our recipe group that you guys can use to stay on track for the holidays. Um, we always recommend doing intermittent fasting on the holidays for sure, yeah. <laughs> but um, doing the recipes that can cut out the sugars, the high carbs, the high you know calories is always a benefit too. So if you are not in our recipe group and you need in, put group in the comments, we'll get you in. I know a lot of you guys on here are um, uh, in our group already. Annette's in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. We were supposed to be there this weekend. She says it's 11 degrees there oh my goodness okay i'm really glad we didn't go no i'm not i'm not no. we're sad we missed our daughter's missed our play daughter. yeah um but i know that if we would have pushed it and tried to travel when we weren't feeling well all it was going to do is take Make even longer for yeah. us to get better so i'm grateful that we are feeling better um we would have been coming home today and you yeah. can hear us and this is with us just resting sleeping that's all i do you guys <coughs> is sleep yeah yeah which i mean hey Rest is good. Hey, Diana, Massachusetts, we get used to that. I'm sure you do. My daughter, that's like the, the funniest part. She's from California, and when she moved over there. She told us we were moving there, and I said, honey, have you seen the temperature in Iowa today? <laughs> we're like, you were born and raised in California. How are you going to do that? But she does really well with she it. She does. She knows how she handles yeah. it. She handles the snow and the driving in it and everything. Yeah. She's never... Until she moved there, she had never driven in snow. Okay, I am so sorry. Yeah, try catching the replay, and hopefully the sound works for four degrees in Ontario, Canada right now. Ooh. Wow, okay, I'm not going to complain about cold, but it is cold here in California. It really is. We went out yesterday. Uh, That's our first time being out of the house. We went yes. and did a little a craft fair here in town, and we went in the dead, like, middle of the day, like noon or one, with a jacket. And it was kind of nice. Yes, it was very nice. 15 degrees. Oh, my gosh. You guys stay warm. You guys need to definitely stay warm. I, I will all your life. Yeah, I'm sure you get used to it. But. Yeah. Okay. So, I've got this all uh, mixed together. I've got the cheeses. I put a, a cup of uh, Colby Jack cheese, a cup of uh, cheddar cheese uh, shredded in there. I've got that all melted. Now I'm going to add, because I didn't do it earlier, I'm going to put some salt and pepper on the uh, broccoli. And then we're going to pour this over the top of it and then top it with some uh, Monterey Jack cheese. You can use pretty much any shredded cheeses that you want for this dish. And then it'll give it a little different flavor and you can use it to, uh, you know, change the, the taste a little bit depending on what you're, you're cooking. Yes. Happy Sunday, Kathy. Thank you for jumping on. Irish, yeah, you're right. I am I am one, and this is not even joking, I wear shorts and a sweatshirt in the summer because that's just me. I do not like being cold ever. So usually if it gets to about 100 degrees, I'll take my sweatshirt off. Um, it's been a little different the last couple of years, but I call that menopause. <laughs> not, not weather, menopause. Yeah. So okay. you guys... If you are looking for inter information on intermittent fasting, we are going to be starting a new intermittent fasting program in January, so I'd love to get you guys information. Put intermittent fasting down, and I can get you guys connected to where you're notified 
whenever we start our new intermittent fasting program. Okay, so I put this sauce over the top of the broccoli, and now I'm going to top that <laughs> with uh, Monterey Jack cheese. And this is, uh, the recipe says a cup. I will probably use a little more than a cup just because I like Monterey Jack cheese. Um, but you can do it however you like. You guys, this is like looking amazing. We're almost ready. So if you guys got value from this, do me a favor. Put value in the comments and smash on that love button. I see people already wanting information on the intermittent fasting. I can send you like our link to where you can go through. It'll tell you everything. And then whenever we um, release the program in January, you will definitely be one of the first ones to know. Yeah, there you saw him spill some too, Mary. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad it's I okay. wasn't she the only up. one. I was like going, wait, you didn't even like say I spilled. See, he cooks, I clean. I see, I knew, see, it wasn't just me. I went, really? <laughs> anyway, thanks, Mary. You're my backup. I appreciate it. I love all of the value you guys are putting in. Please make sure that you share it out with somebody that you love. When you do, put share it in the comments so we can get you into our drawing. This is going to go in the oven at 350 <laughs> degrees for 25 minutes, and then it'll be ready. Perfect. We're probably going to heat up some leftover rotisserie chicken, and that's this will be our side dish for it. Yes, 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 yes. So yep. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your weekend, and we will see you guys later on in the week. <laughs> you didn't kill me. <laughs> Thank you all for spending some time with us. We'll talk to you guys soon. Love and appreciate you. Bye-bye.